Last week, we ended up going with some friends over to the largest candy store in Minnesota. It was absolutely insane. Where does it stop? It doesn't stop. It stops somewhere back there. What? Yes. So much stuff. Walked up and down this row about 10 times. I still haven't seen everything. There were puzzles everywhere. There's a whole closet for puzzles. Maybe an old miner, but I got lots what? of wisdom to show for all my years. Everywhere. Puzzles pie. everywhere. All kinds of candy. Literally every color. Grumpy, blah, cool, hungover, tired, love, flirty. My salted nut roll. <laughs> Not for sale. But these pecan logs are for sale. The taffy section. I found some bug candy. We also had... They have a TARDIS. And it never ends! We bought a few things, or a lot of things. So we're going to review some of the samples that we bought and see what everything tastes like. Astronaut ice cream sandwich. Living in Florida, I grew up near some of the stuff at the space centers. I knew I had to get this just so I can at least be like, hey dad, I ate astronaut food. Sadly, in transportation, my cookie got broken. Aww. Look at that sad cookie. It does have an ice cream flavor. It tastes like vanilla. The cookie has some chocolate. It's good. It just takes a minute. It has to rehydrate the flavor. Next sample will be cotton candy, but not regular cotton candy. Spicy jalapeno. Kind of looks like pineapple to me because of the yellow coloring, but let's see how hot it is. <laughs> Okay, I can sense that there's a little bit of heat. I don't see um, pockets of the spice, so it looks like it must be evenly distributed throughout the product. Okay, there's a little bit of heat there. It's in the back of my throat, top of the roof of my mouth in the back. Not bad. There was one other kind I couldn't resist when I was in the store. The Trump hair cotton candy. Actually, when you read the very top of this, it's called butterscotch sundae. So it looks like it's gonna taste very much like a classic butterscotch candy or very creamy of it maybe. We shall see. Almost looks hairy. Kinda. Big piece. Not bad. It does have that butterscotch kind of uh, quality taste to it. Do I look presidential yet? Our next candy will be these delicious international Kit Kats. These are supposed to be green tea flavored. I believe, yeah, I believe that's what it said at the sign of the store. How do I describe this? Mm. It's creamy and it has a very mild taste to it. Mm -hmm. Aww. The wrapper on the back says, good job. Thumbs up. We have here this lovely little block 
and it has ants trapped inside. I hope they're not alive. Super hard, it's not brittle. Let's get to the ants. I do not like the way that the syrup tastes at all. It is way too hard to get to the ants in this thing. Yeah, I really don't like how that's tasting. One second. Okay. I should have done this a long time ago. I can finally reach the little ants. Ah. Got ants in my teeth. Ew. So while we were there, we saw another kind of bug candy. We have crickets. These are salt and vinegar flavor. I love salt and vinegar chips, so hopefully this doesn't ruin that for me. I've never had the crickets before, so this is very new for me. Ooh, I can smell them. That's strong vinegar. Okay. They actually weren't that bad. I was afraid I was gonna freak out a lot more. But since they're just dry and then they're baked with the flavor. So although they're not my favorite thing to look for, they're definitely edible food source. Fireball, why are you here? Do you want some crickets? You want some crickets? Okay, our last candy is the candy blocks, which comes in the milk carton. Basically, it's Legos. I've had way too much sugar for today, so I hope you enjoyed seeing some different candies, and we'll see you next time.